It's an exciting time to be at the University of Wyoming. We basically have restarted the, the program in physics and there's a lot of new uh, energetic, fa energetic faculty. And a lot of them are focused on energy applications. The University of Wyoming and the state of Wyoming have uh, committed to moving us forward in developing the energy resources in the state of Wyoming and our faculty have uh, taken up that call. And so a lot of them are studying right now solar cell technology but from a fundamental quantum mechanic level. And so that's exciting for students. Um, like the astronomy students, our physics students have lots of fellowship opportunities. We have a school of energy resources here that's funded by the state and essentially all of our students are getting f graduate fellowships to study one or two years as fellows and to do energy applications in their physics research. We specifically have focused uh, primarily on what I would call condensed matter physics, even nanotechnology applications and so forth. Uh, we have uh, jumped into an experimental uh, program, uh, I would say roughly within the last six years. Uh, we were fortunate enough to uh, get Dr. Uh, Jinka Tong uh, to uh, enter our program at a very senior level. So this is a scientist that knows a lot about um, detailed experimental analyses. And he brought a, a lab to the university. And as, since that time, we've included another scientist, uh, uh, Wenyang uh, Wang. And uh, he uh, also has sort of the, I would say, uh, condensed matter nanotechnology expertise that we're trying to build up. So the nice um, aspect of our program is that we're building a critical mass experimental program. Obviously we have theorists. Uh, Dr. Uh, Yuri Donofsky has been here since I have a, actually a couple of years before. We're both theorists, but we've continued to sort of grow our experimental side. And this is very uh, good for funding and the fact that we're, we can produce scientists that can enter the real world and get real jobs.